Well, we've had a query from one of our designers in the US for some help when using Google Earth images. An early version of GK Plus used to have the ability on a drop down menu to simply place a Google Earth image. You can still do that, but we've discontinued that option because Google keeps changing their method of allowing us to access that information. So you can now use Google Earth, fly to your site as has been done here, and then capture the Google Earth image. Just make sure when you capture the image that you've included Google Earth's scale bar. So over here you can see this is a Google Earth image and we've captured the image. I've rotated the image through uh, several degrees or rather our designer has and um, we can now lay out a design for a master plan for development of this site which is about 100 metres by 100 metres and uh, the key issue to make sure that you've scaled the drawing correctly before you start laying out a master plan based on the Google Earth images. Our user in the US wants to develop a master plan for a botanic gardens so they will capture the image in the way we've just described and place it in GCAD Plus using draw and raster image and the image will then appear if you go format and images here here's the Google Earth image in this particular development so we can close it so you can easily place an image what you need to do is to scale the image so that the distance command and I'll use it now and click from one side of the scale bar to the other remember that this is in the metric system so it should read 47 meters and that's 47,000 millimeters so when we click and it does so we've scaled that image correctly um, the image has also been rotated by a particular angle 7.7 .7, and that's just done to square the the block the uh, development site off but it's not absolutely necessary it's just that most people prefer uh, a development plan like this to be horizontal so we can do all sorts of things based on that Google Earth image um, the designer here was asked to provide wildlife corridors so you can see on the left um, wildlife can come through using these uh, eucalypt trees through here and can cross the road and join in with a new wildlife corridor and then move off if we zoom right out remember we're in model space here uh, what's been done here is to put typical planting for the wildlife corridor so it's going to be a five meter width wildlife corridor and uh, this is going to be about what 20 meters long typical sort of planting so that planting will go in the area where the green slash is so once you have that sort of information down you can build a concept plan based on it and I think this one works really well we can go to a layout where we're looking just at the Google Earth image and the layout on top of it or once that's been done just look at the master plan itself into site assessment and wetland species and all sorts of things with it but everything is based around the Google Earth image and uh, quite a high level of accuracy can be done and certainly for conceptual work and for in the case of this query locating visitors in and around um, a botanic gardens uh, can be done really quite easily and individual species can be tagged and you could use extended entities to give visitors to the garden um, information about species that are planted and even have a, a Google Earth KLM file that can guide them there um, on GPS equipment so that's how you use GCAD plus images to manage quite a large site